spot near us and I thought that it would be fun if we went and of course brought you guys along as part of Vlogmas. So this is going to be probably a fun vlog, you know, a bit of an active vlog. Sean and I are both wearing green, what I like to call Christmas tree green. Okay, so yeah, we're matching in our Christmas tree green and we're going to see them light up the Christmas tree. Babe. So you don't, you haven't seen the tree, right? No. Neither of us has seen the tree, so we don't know like how big it is or anything like that. Um, but I guess we'll see here pretty soon. I do need to get my military ID out because we are going to go through the gates at, at the base. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that out. Here we are, babe. So, Thanks, babe. I always give that to baby, and he puts it right there, which I really could just put it right there. But we're here at the gates. I'm gonna show you guys. Those of you that you know are part of the life, you know how the gate goes. So I'm gonna put this down because I don't want them to think I'm like trying to <laughs> <laughs> yeah. do anything crazy. Any crazy stuff. <laughs> yeah. How are you youngsters doing? You're good. Hi. How about yourself, sir? I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing, man. <laughs> I know that. Come on, scan. There you go. Come on. Oh, technology, huh? Probably registering. If anything, yeah. <laughs> otherwise you guys are good to go. Have a good day. Right on. Have Thank you. Yep. Merry Christmas too. Yeah, Merry Christmas. <laughs> he was so excited. You told him Merry Christmas. Yeah, I know. Sweet, nice guy. Um, uh, all right, so we're on the base now. You know where we're going, baby? Yeah, baby. Okay. This parking is insane. There's just not enough of it. <laughs> We're just gonna have to do the loop around. Oh no, not the loop around. Oh yeah. Couldn't find a park in the parking lot. These people must have been here for hours already. Mm -hmm. where we're going, but. Get there this way. What in the secret passageway? Making our way down. <laughs> To Walking this. fast, space is fast, and we're homebound. But look how many people are over there, my goodness. Oh, yeah, wow. Well. It's like a sea of, like, I don't know, like a swarm. People. Of, yeah, <laughs> swarms. We're gonna show you guys, like, all the fun stuff that they have. I already see the tree. I think I see some tents. Of course, there's a ton of kids. Yeah. So we hope you all are excited and ready for a fun night at the tree lighting. Woo! All right, let's go. There's the tree. There's the wife. <laughs> I hear music and I see like glow light. Yeah. Oh look, baby, a snowman. Oh really? <laughs> you take a picture with him. <laughs> oh my. There he is. <laughs> it's frosty. <laughs> stage event there. Hello, creep, I mean creep. <laughs> really? Jaffa, oh babe, there's coffee over there. Oh my gosh. Did you see any cool food trucks? Yeah, there's a, there's a Java Express over there. We're gonna get some coffee. No. <laughs> So Sean and I have kind of discovered that like this event is not really like necessarily for us. There's like kids everywhere and there's like bounce houses and like fake snow and stuff like that. We thought it was more so going to be just like a, an know, a all age. Yeah. yeah, we thought it was going to be more age friendly, but mm. we're, we're kind of feeling out of place. So we're probably not going to stick around very long. Um, hopefully they like the tree here soon. But yeah, we'll, sh we'll kind of show you guys maybe what's over under the tents, but yeah. As you probably can see from what we've shown you so far, 
we have no use for a bounce house or a snow <laughs> slide or taking pictures with Frosty. Other than getting concerned looks from the ongoers. Right? Like, I feel like people would kind of look at us like, uh. What's wrong with you? We're already kind of getting those looks because we're like the only couple walking around with no kids, no lie. I wish they had put that in the, like, disclaimer. <laughs> but it's okay. It's Rudolph. His nose is like green in this light, but it, it's out there is red. There he is. the hearts of those foolish enough to oppose them. Relentless in their skill and courage, not only in the air, but also on the ground, these brave soldiers have forged for themselves a place of honor in America's hearts. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is my proud honor to describe for you today a demonstration of precision free fall as performed by members of your United States Army Parachute Team the Golden Knights! At this time, members of the Gold Demonstration Team are circling high overhead in our distinctively painted UV-18 Viking Twin Otter aircraft at an altitude of 12,500 feet. Ah. The Jump Master is actually looking out the left door of the aircraft. His head is outside in the wind and the cold. Uh, Through a series of hand and arm signals, he is relaying heading corrections to the pilot, maneuvering the aircraft to a precise exit point for the jumpers. Watch closely as you may see the nose of the aircraft move slightly left or right in response to the steering instructions. The jump master gives a cross arm signal of hot target, signifying that the airspace is clear and that it is safe to jump. The jumpers conduct their final gear checks and move to the doors in the rear of the aircraft. In a matter of moments, members of the gold demonstration team will simultaneously exit the aircraft to form one of the many mass formations possible while in freefall. The aircraft has been slowed to a safe exit speed of 120 miles per hour. The same speed as a freefall parachutist at terminal velocity. The jumpers are out and the pyro is on! The initial part of the formation is called the base and it forms quickly as the initial jumpers fly their bodies together while interlocking their arms and legs to form the nucleus of the formation. The remaining jumpers sit up slightly above and outside of the formation awaiting the team leader's call. At 9,000 feet, the team leader gives a thumbs up, signaling the outside jumpers to fly to the base. As they fly closer and closer together, they use their arms, legs, hands, and shoulders to safely complete the formation. The formation continues to fly at 120 miles per hour. The team leader now gives a signal to complete our bomb burst maneuver. This is our salute to all of you attending today's show. Watch for the parachute. 
There you have the high flying black and gold of your United States Army Parachute Team, the Golden Knights. Now, as you may have guessed, these jumpers are faced with a unique situation. A traffic jam in the sky. They must gain vertical separation in order to allow for individual approaches into the target area. This enables the jumpers to set up a traffic pattern just like you might see aircraft at a busy airport. At 1,000 feet, the jumper does what is called a wind penetration check, checking his distance and speed across the ground. He will then fly a downwind leg, a base leg 90 degrees to the target, and then face into the wind for his final approach. It takes a great deal of concentration in order to land dead center on the target. The jumper keeps a close eye on the windsock located in the target area. Once on final approach, he will then shift all of his concentration to a small black dot located in the center of the orange X. Moments ago, these jumpers were more than two miles overhead. Make some noise, our last jumpers bring it in to the landing area. Renew our innocence of all that this time of the year represents. All right, the moment we've all been waiting for. I want to thank you all for coming out to this wonderful event and kicking off the holiday season with us. The lighting of the Christmas tree marks the beginning of the holiday season, a season of joy and peace. As we light the tree, let us remember our deployed service members and their families that are left back here. We share in your hope for a safe and successful mission and a speedy return. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Light that tree! Thank you all for coming out tonight. All right, ladies and gentlemen, again, nice big round of applause for our big 25-foot Christmas tree here at the main post parade field. But somebody's missing. Who's missing? I can't hear you. Who's missing right now? Here comes Santa Claus. He's riding in on a red fire engine sleigh. And he's going to be in the tent over there, ladies and gentlemen. Go over and take pictures with Santa Claus. The exchange. I don't come here much, y'all. Purses. Makeup on sale. It looks struggle. I wonder what color this though. Black liquor. <laughs> if there's an if there's one that's not open, maybe I'll try it. a china shop. I'm too broad for these. Almost knock stuff off. It's my cousin, Patricia and I. I'm just kidding. I have no idea who she is. <laughs> Brahmin? Brahmin noodles? <laughs> I think that's how you say that. So they have like outfits over there that I'm definitely not saying anything that I would like. 
I wouldn't really go here for fashion per se. Well, uh, maybe you don't want me to wear that outfit right there. No. <laughs> I don't see another one to top that. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm not trying to make you look like you have a problem. Oh, you know what I need, baby? Some what? powder. Oh. Timeless, feminine, alluring. <laughs> oh, that does smell good. Doesn't it? <laughs> Okay, this smells good. Can you smell it? I thought you wanted that one. Oh, I have one up here. Oh, okay, gotcha. Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major Will Bomeyer. While we prepare to gather with friends and family for the holidays, thoughts of loved ones who are deployed are not far from our hearts and minds. That's my favorite. I got you the extra large basket. <laughs> okay, babe, thank you. But I wonder if, like, at the actual, because they don't have like the buy oh, three. The actual store, if they might have like a sale or something. Yeah. Do they have like the buy three get three or something? I guess the sanitizer too, huh? I don't know, babe. Oh, ask me a question. I think so. Yeah, see, Victoria's Secret has a four for 20 on their lotion. On the mini mist and lotion. Glitter, what is that glitter stuff? Where? Right here. Is this a can glitter? Of glitter less shimmer spray. I want to see what it looks like, baby. Oh no. I need to borrow the back of your hand. Okay. Hold on. Did you say oh no when I said I want to see what it looks like? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can see why it's on, on sale. sale. <laughs> it stinks. Oh. Sorry, babe. It just, get, it just looks like I'm like greasy. Yeah. Oh, but I see the glitter now. A little. Mm. It's it's definitely very fine. <laughs> you okay, baby? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> what did you just oh, do? Oh no, it doesn't come off. <laughs> <laughs> so they have like drugstore aisles types. Kind of like the stuff you'd find and baby, you don't look happy. Oh, I was just awkwardly standing in your shot. Oh. <laughs> I I, I, <laughs> like the type of stuff you find at the drugstore. <laughs> Guys, this man and his coffee. <laughs> Holiday scented candles and a 
Oh my god, you're shopping for holiday scents and candles. What's become of me? Oh man. <coughs> it's called Christmas cookie. Lots of toys and then electronics back there. Electronics. Yeah. And like hunting over there and firearms and stuff. We're gonna go look at it. Come on. Is there anything else you want to look at though? I don't think so, babe. Because oh, okay. I didn't realize until after that I was like, wait a minute, do I want. That's cute. I never seen anything like that. What is that? USB battery bank. Oh. Chubs. And it's got like a, a little tiny battery charger. Hmm. That's like a little pig or something. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Where do you clip it though? On your keys. Maybe. You could go on your purse. Yeah. That would be nice, babe. You like a pineapple, stand tall, wear a crown, and dang it. And be the home of SpongeBob. No. It's like, I, I be know. like a pineapple. How does that go, guys? I was gonna get the pink pig, but. I think I like the pineapple better because I'm gonna remember what that saying is. Teenies. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe they have like something where we can mount the camera. You think? Or no? Possibly. It's possible. So I have picked out the pineapple and babe just found a freaking poof ball for me. <laughs> I have a good eye, I guess. Yeah. I he was like, baby, would you like this? Oh. Now he's picking me a good one. <laughs> and this is how they have it like you know, you can clip it on your purse or whatever and huh, that's pretty cool. charge your phone. So I'll probably put, probably put my pineapple back. Yeah, they're both the same amount of charge. Okay. Actually, this is a pretty good place to go to get like that if you're going to get a green machine. Oh, yeah? That's scary, man. <laughs> this guy breaks into your house. What are you gonna do? Scream for my husband. Trees outside. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll find our Santa hats here. We'll see. <laughs> Look, mom's Yeti. <laughs> oh yeah, mom's Yeti. She loves her Yeti. Mom's spaghetti. Shut up. Is this a dog bed? Oh, it's a cat bed. Aww. I'm sure. I was gonna say, it's so cute. I don't know what the difference is between dog and cat. Aww. <laughs> oh, hi. Babe. I love seeing people's, like, how they, whatever they do with their elves, like, elves for Elf on, on the, the Shelf. shelf. Yeah. yeah. I love seeing, like, the different <laughs> things that people do with that. I see Sensa hats over there. So guys, these wreaths are okay, but baby, tell them where they need to go to find their wreaths. Shalise. Okay. 
Like, I have spoken. I'm gonna insert a picture of a wreath my sister made for us. But oh my God, it's so beautiful. I literally just went on Pinterest, downloaded the picture, showed her what I wanted, and like she made it look even better. So and subscribe to my sister's channel for all your DIY needs because she has got you covered from like events to decor to DIY just for holidays. Like, yeah, she do. All right. Um, so these hats are more expensive, I think, and they feel cheaper. <laughs> So it's been a minute since I went to the commissary. Um, I just, I don't know why I don't really come to the commissary, but last time I was here, I saw that they had some really nice, yummy looking granola. So I wanted to, you know, I made a mental note about it and I said I was gonna come back. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was gonna come back and check it out. So now that I'm out of my granola that I brought from California, <laughs> moment of silence. Now I'm gonna go and see what kind of granola they have over here. And Sean just picked up a paper. And we are going into the commissary side. Who remembers getting these little balls when you're a kid? Uh, the bouncy balls? Yes, yeah. my mom always let us get these. We had so many of them. Mm -hmm. Like she must have never said no when we asked. Ooh, chili. Pretty. Oh, yeah. Pretty tree. Mm. They have it all decorated in here. They have some little fresh flowers. I don't eat sushi, but Babe does. I love sushi. They actually make it fresh every day. Oh, yeah? My brother eats sushi too. Yeah, Chris would like it too. Yeah. He would like that. <laughs> oh, even more sushi. So if you're a sushi lover and you haven't checked out your commissary yet, well, I don't know if it's all of this them. This is a healthier choice. It's only 330 calories for the oh, whole they, thing. Oh, they tell you the calories, so there you go. There you have it. Me, see, I'll just come right on over here to my <laughs> favorite cookies. Yeah. Those are my favorite, the sugar cookies with the sprinkles. Mm. Are these gummy bears? Gummy candy variety. <laughs> Why are they in here like this? Because it's German. Oh, it's German. That's cool. So they're imported. German candy. German Christmas. It's a uh, schnee <laughs> Alcohol free. <laughs> oh, it's, it's alcohol free. That's what that means. Isn't that a cute little man? What is he doing? Is uh, that his? Is that something in his butt? <laughs> <laughs> is that something in his butt? Babe, it is. Oh, he's got a corner up there. Wow, how mischievous! <laughs> what, is, what is this? It's, it's imported German stuff. I really wanna, is, is anybody from Germany? Can you guys like educate us on this a little bit? I'm really curious. Please tell me the story behind this. Yeah, these things look good, don't they? It looks like um, a German fruitcake. Yeah, but guys, I'm more interested in this little thing with the quarter in his butt. Or coin, I'll say <laughs> coin. It doesn't look that much different from our stuff. Like this looks like Christmas candy corn. It does. I'm pretty sure that's what yeah, that, that is. Yeah. This is really cute. We may have to try some of it. I don't know. Alright. Well, shall we go to the granola? Hey, look. This is where we can get our pastries on the patio. Oh, yeah. It's about time for another pastries on the patio, actually. These cookies are classic. I remember always seeing these, like, growing up. Whenever we had a party, somebody's mom would send these. <laughs> Oh, okay. Of course, I sometimes forgot that, you know, they were made out of calories. <laughs> <laughs> Sugars. These are some cute cookies, aren't they? 
Those are cute. Are these from Germany? No. Oh, okay. They're still David. cute though. David Prisians. It's just a lot of different cookies. Yeah, that's cute. $40. Oh goodness, $40. They ain't that cute, y'all. They <laughs> ain't that cute. So here is the granola. All right. Um, let's see. It makes me wonder whenever I see a big open gap, what was so popular. Yeah, me too. Granola clusters with blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries. But they literally have like all of them stocked. So that makes me side eye a little maybe, bit. Unless they, they just. just restocked. Yeah, that could be it. This looks. Okay. But I don't like the big almond chunks in there. Apple cinnamon might be good, but I'm not sure. <laughs> this looks the most promising. Yeah. There's actually like white chocolate in here. I just don't know how that will taste with my strawberry yogurt. You like strawberry, white chocolate covered strawberries? You're right. This, Sean wants to try it too. So what are you doing, baby? I'm just trying to see if they have any like loose leaf tea. Loose leaf tea? Mm -hmm. It's a little difficult to find in stores. Hmm. This is good. Try to. Add matcha and chamomile. Those are good. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you are addicted to these babies like I am, comment down below, and we'll make like a, a Christmas tree cakes anonymous groups or something.